Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'd like to show you this time how we can custom format dates and numbers. This is particularly important uh, in the commercial area where we want our spreadsheets to appear in a particular format. There's a certain amount of uh, learning involved here, but let's go through it nice and slowly. And the first thing we'll talk about are the custom date formats. So I see here that the default date format in Excel is for a short date, and there's an option for a long date. We can also, however, create our own custom date formats. So if I look at this little table here, I see that the default uh, format, uh, is, which is the date there, there's an example of the long date format. And here is an example of a custom date format where the day uh, appears followed by a comma, uh, but the, the month is the short month and there are dashes between the day of the month and the year. So the custom date in that example is DDDD, comma, DD dash MMMM dash YYY. And the way that I would have written that particular format would have been to go in the Home tab, in, in the uh, drop arrow for Number, and then down to Custom, and I'll see that it defaults to General. Well, what I would have done was to change that and typed in this code here. And when I click OK, any dates that um, are typed into the uh, cells that have been custom formatted, and you can select more than one cell at a time, of course, uh, then that is how that date will appear. Now, as a further example, let's say that uh, in this particular cell, C22, that I want to find out what day of the week that a particular date occurred on. This is often used in HR departments uh, for various reasons. So let's suppose that somebody was born on the 23rd of February uh, 1989. Now what I'm going to do is to custom format that date so that I want to see the long date here, four Ds. If I want to see just the short, date, short day, I would uh, just type three Ds. So what I'm going to do is to go into the uh, custom area and I'll change the type to 1, 2, 3, 4 Ds and when I click OK it tells me that that particular date was a Thursday. Similarly if I wanted to know what, what the month was in text uh, I just might want the short month. Uh, do you remember it was February? February. <laughs> well, what we'll do is to go into uh, more number formats this time, I can uh, get to the same area, and I'll type uh, 4Ms, no, I think I said 3Ms, so 3Ms there, when I press enter, it tells me February. So that's how I can custom format dates. Let's look at custom number formats. A numeric value can have up to four sets of codes in the custom formatting area. Each set is separated by a semicolon and refers to a different value. For example, if I custom formatted a cell or some cells with that particular code there, then I would see the results down here. We'll look at these a little, uh, a little later. Note that the hash symbol is used as a placeholder for the digits, but it does not display the leading zeros. So in this code that I've uh, uh, typed in here, the code, if I type that code in the custom format, that will be applied to positive values and it inserts commas between the thousands and displays the answer in blue. For this cell, because I use the code in brackets around the hashes, the comma incidentally separates the thousands, that's applied to negative values. And I want to see the negative uh, 
uh, values in red so it inserts commas between the thousands as it does there but it shows the answer in red with brackets around the number. This code 0 black. If I type a 0 into a formatted cell that contains that, that code there it displays the zeros in black. If I have empty cells that is where there is a null value and a null value in a cell is simply two double quotes together then I want to see the words enter value in green so that's how it works so let's have a look at the f at the custom formatting code in those four cells and there it is there all I had to do was to go to custom type in the type and click OK and that uh, formatted those particular cells. If I, uh, for example, change this to 2000 and press enter in blue, but it puts a comma between the thousands. In this cell, if I enter 2100, blue, comma. But if I wanted a null value in there, that is nothing at all then what I would do would be to type two double quotes together, press enter, and the custom formatting uh, does exactly what I told it to do. Now, leading zeros. I'm going to go to a blank worksheet here called More Custom Number Formats, and in this cell I'll type a mobile phone number. 043, we'll say 0330215. Now, if I press enter, the first thing I notice is that the leading zero disappears. Excel will get rid of the leading zero in a number by default. So what I'm going to do is to custom format these cells so that the, um, uh, that the leading zero appears. So I'll use this method to get to the more number formats. I'll go down to custom and I'm going to say in this case I want a leading zero followed by two hashes, maybe followed by a space, followed by three more hashes, followed by another space, followed by four hashes. And when I click OK the number is formatted as per the custom format. So the next mobile phone number which might be entered as 044-055-07896 all I need to do is press the enter key and because that cell had been custom formatted it immediately showed me the um, oops I've got the wrong number in there it should be 044-567 eight nine seven six will do there we go shows the loading zero so that's how I can custom format cells thank you so much for watching please subscribe uh, will there be lots more information about Excel posted there's uh, some 80 uh, videos on at the moment on my channel uh, make sure you look at them there's lots of interesting information how to do things uh, comment should you wish but would love to have you as a subscriber Thank you so much for watching.